Hey everybody, welcome back to Living In My Now. Thank you so much for pressing play and happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I'm actually recording this on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So I thought I'd hop on here since I'm making Valentine's for our widows and shut-ins. Yes, I'm doing it late this year on Valentine's Day. It is 38, the wind chill, I think is 38 below zero here in Minnesota. Yeah, I want to move somewhere that it doesn't hardly snow or it never snows. I, I am not a fan of the extreme cold. So hopefully that'll change next year. But anyways, I just wanted to get on here because typically I do make a video for Valentine's Day. So I just wanted to get on here and do that. I'm gonna take you guys along with me as I make these Valentines. So this year for our widows and shut-ins, because I have to actually deliver them because of COVID, a lot of our people, uh, our older people are not coming to church. So I have to go personally deliver a lot of these. So I figured <laughs> I'll just do that. I didn't go to church this morning because it's so cold. And later today, I'm actually have a project. I ran super fast at the store, which I didn't want to because it was so cold. Uh, and I bought some plastic to put up in my windows because it's been freezing in here and my bed is against the window. So I'm gonna rearrange that. So I'm gonna debate whether I wanna do that in a video or not. But um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. <laughs> then I'm gonna get into like the content of this video. So I bought these masks. There were 50 of them from eBay. I'll link everything below. But it comes two in a pack. I got them in black on purpose. And I think it was like $30 for the 50 mask, which is a very good deal. Um, I think this year I have 35 widows and shutting. So it worked out. And then I got this from an Etsy shop. I'll link her below. I'll let you know how these work out. And these are iron-on decals. I have faith over fear. And I'm just going to iron those on. These were, mm, I want to say $8, eight, no, it came out to $17 because I got two of each, two of faith, two of fear. So, and then I got these really nice, um, to your planners. These aren't all the designs I got. I'm just going to show some of them. And these came from Oriental Trading Company. I will link that below because we have males and female widows and shut-ins at our church so these are all gonna be personally delivered or mailed i have not heard back from my pastor yet as to how we're gonna do that but it'll get figured out because it gets figured out every single year but that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna iron these on as i'm talking to you guys today so for those that are single um <laughs> i'm gonna try to encourage you guys today so yesterday i had my very first galentine's day which i had never done that before so that was really interesting so one of our other local churches has, because if you're single in a church, you understand this. There's not normally a lot of singles in your particular church. So typically these single things, there's typically a lot of women, which I'm totally fine with. I'm not partial on male or female, or whatever. I'm always open to making new friends. So I went to this group that a friend of mine told me about at his church and it was really fun. So these girls invited me, long story short, to their Galentine's Day. So we had fun. We painted our nails. Yeah, I know. I have to clean up the edges. But anyway, yes, I painted my nails, which is a lot of fun. We did this girl named Nikki. She made breakfast for us. And we had a devotion about, you know, Valentine's Day and stuff. And then we watched a movie. And it was a lot of fun. We did facials. Oh, I should have wore the cat ears. So she wore these things on Amazon. Where they're like these little cat ear things you put them to keep your hair out of your face and stuff. And it was so much fun. And then they gave us roses at the end. So Valentine's Day does not have to always be about couples and love. And, mm, I love you. It doesn't have to be about that. You could always think about other people. And that's always a good thing to think about other people. Even if you're a couple. Because <laughs> there are people who, you know, take a lot of these holidays. Like Christmas and Thanksgiving. Because those are holidays I'm normally by myself too. Unless someone invites me over. It doesn't matter to me, but just just be aware that there are people who that actually bothers that they're alone. I thought I ordered this in black. Maybe I didn't. Nope, I didn't. I got two different fonts. I'm thinking out loud. Don't don't bother, don't mind me. Um, but um, yeah, there are some people who are bothered because they're home alone. So if you if you just think about it, just you know, invite some people, you know, or do something for other people to kind of make them feel better during the holidays. I got um, 
a Valentine's Day card from my uncle. I got one from my old neighbor, which I'm going to take her one of these masks too. Uh, so it's been great. But <laughs> enough of that. So I'm going to get into what made me decide to make this video as I'm making these Valentines, which I'm going to look at these instructions real quick. I'll be back in a second. Okay. Thank you for that commercial break. Um, but <laughs> I'm trying to figure this thing out. I'm going to show you what this looks like. But anyways, to the point of me making this video. So you know how Facebook shows you different memories that you have on there. And back in 2009, on February 13th, I was, I actually got into a relationship with a guy who God told me not to date, though he was absolutely positive. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. He was gorgeous. <laughs> he was gorgeous. hundred percent gorgeous. And I'm like, but God, he's cute. That was my excuse. And uh, <laughs> he and I started dating on February 13th, 2009. And look, I think it came out okay. It's not quite, oh, you can't even see it on camera. Well, anyway, it says faith over fear. Faith and fear. All right, then I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. I'll take a picture and put it on my Instagram, living in my now 17. So if you go follow, you'll see a picture on there. But anyway, so we started dating on February 13th. 13th 2009 and we broke up i think december 9th 2009 so it did not last long i should have listened to the lord when he was like not a good idea sandy and i'm like why he's dreamy and yeah he found a bigger nightmare um i should have but the, the moral story is i should have listened and our society i feel like kind of makes us feel like if we are not in a relationship, if we are not dating, if we are not with someone, then, you know, there's something wrong with you if you're not dating or if you're not with anyone. And then they're adding on all this other foolishness, which I'm not going to get into that because I don't want to have a debate about that. Um, then we get into all this other these other things that are popping up that makes life just more complicated. And it's just a hot mess. Let me tell you, from a person that's been single literally since December 2009, I am very glad that in this day and age, I am single and that I decided to wait for the right person. For this reason, I have learned a lot about myself. I have learned what I like, what I don't like. I've learned, it's almost like I discovered myself because I'm by myself. Um, I, lived on, I live on my own and all these different things. So I have discovered many, many things. I have learn to basically depend on God for my source of a lot of things. I'm not always 100% and honey, you will not be 100% either. But it taught me to be more reliant. I know how to do a lot of things on my own. Have God help me figure out a lot of things on my own that I otherwise can't figure out. I have made amazing friends through this entire process and all types of things. So I guess what I'm saying is, and you know, I'm able to see a lot more. That's just like I was telling... Um, a friend of mine that there was someone that I was like super interested in that came to my church. I'm not going to give too many details, but there's someone I was interested in and we're good friends and I didn't want to say anything to him. <laughs> so, uh, when I noticed that I was starting to become interested in him, I was just like, Lord, just show me if me and this person are supposed to like, am I supposed to like say anything or be interested in him? Let me tell you when I say like literally two weeks later, there were things that God showed me that I was like, ooh, in a long-term relationship, that would not work because I could see us arguing and getting into it. Whereas if I was just so desperate to be with the guy, it's like, well, he comes to church, you know, we believe a lot of the same things and that, that should be enough, right? He's a good Christian guy, right? That should be enough. We'll work out everything else. Now, don't get me wrong. Cause I have talked to a lot of really good people who have been successfully married and there'll be things that you can compromise on. But I already knew from afar that <laughs> this would cause arguments. If we were to ever get married or go any further, it's better that we stay friends because as a friend, I can just tell them like, you stupid. I don't like that. You say that you're dumb, you know, but in a relationship relationship that, that, that would not have flown very well. So there are things like that, that I've learned that when I'm just a friend with someone, <laughs> it, it just works out better that way. Because then I get to see, like, can this be something else? 
And then it's like, oh, nope. <laughs> and I could just step away. Back in 2009, when I got into the relationship that I got into, um, I was just lonely. I'm just going to be honest. I was lonely and the guy was cute. And again, I was kind of falling into the lie that our society tells us that you're nothing without, you know, dating someone. So I, I just dated the one that was cute and wound up having my feelings hurt. And <laughs> I should have just listened to God. So don't take Valentine's Day so seriously. Don't be upset if you don't have anybody. Just go ahead and reach out to someone. Reach out to someone that you know is going to be by themselves for Valentine's Day. And give them a call. Talk to like, you know, someone in your family that you know is like a widow or widower. I'm wondering if it's supposed to be this color. I don't know. <laughs> but it looks fine. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, reach out to someone today. See if they, you know, see if they're feeling lonely. Just like you're probably lonely today, potentially. You know, they might just be lonely and sad today too. There's nothing wrong with reaching out to them saying like, hey, you want to go hang out? You want to go get some coffee? Do you want to watch a movie? Um, I'm not a romantic movie person. <laughs> I think they're corny. But you know, you guys can just hang out. Have a Galentine's Day. That's what I did yesterday. Or what's for guys, a Palentine's Day. So just show someone some love today, I guess, in essence. Don't be in such a rush to get into a relationship, you know, or especially to get married to someone because I'm going to be careful how I say this too. I have a friend and I'm not going to, I'm going to try to not use identifying things, but I have a friend, I won't say if this is male or female, that told me that with their spouse is an amazing person, amazing person. And, um, but the one thing that my friend regrets is that their spouse is not a Christian. So, <laughs> you know, and my friend told me in a sense, they kind of waited, wish they had waited and gave it a little bit more time because at first they thought their spouse was saved Christian and come to find out they're not a saved Christian. Even now they're still haven't gotten saved, you know, and they said, you know, they can't connect on that spiritual level, which is really important if you're a Christian that you connect on a spiritual level. Um, I'm telling you, <laughs> so don't be in such a rush. If it bothers you that much being alone, reach out to a friend today. Um, I know this video is a little scattered. I will put some Bible verses below and I will see you guys later on Instagram. I will put, um, cause I'm still ironing these little thingies. Um, I will put <laughs> the finished product. I don't know how I feel about how this is ironing on this black. But that's okay because this is a gift from the heart. So I know that they'll be happy and their masks as we're all required to wear them. So do <laughs> some free masks. They're good quality. But all right. Thank you guys for pressing play. Share this video. I hope I wasn't too scattered. And I will see you guys later. Oh, this is steamy. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>